Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while per usual, say so the same thing every single time. But anyways, yeah, I wanted to do like a day in my life video since I haven't done one in a while. It's been a minute actually. Um, it's teacher appreciation week and I wanted to show you really quick what I got slash made the kids for their teachers this week. Um, I just want to say really quick, if you are a teacher, it doesn't matter what kind of teacher, a regular teacher, substitute teacher, a teacher's assistant, I just want to say that you are valued, you are appreciated, and yeah, you deserve more than just a week because I feel like teachers don't get enough credit for all the work that they do. It's a hard job, I'm pretty sure. Like you are teaching, you're planning, you're dealing with different kids, behaviors, different parents. Like it's a lot of work. Like I honestly couldn't imagine. And then you have to go home to your regular life and deal with your family and stuff like I just I just want to say that you are appreciated I appreciate my kids teachers so much um but yeah anyways I just wanted to show you guys what I did for the kids teachers this week so I made them each a canvas bag and I customized it for each of their teachers this one says Mrs. Blando you rule like are you like are you kidding me like it's so cute I did this all by myself I designed it and um, use my heat press to make the bag. So this one is for Madeline's teacher and then this one is for Eli's teacher. It says I teach little people. I did like this um, purple, it's like a textured purple glitter vinyl and it has her name on it. It's so cute. I love it. So that one's for Eli's teacher and then Junior's teacher. It says teacher things. Um, Mr. Cook, I didn't want to make his too like, you know, girly or anything like that so i just made this pretty plain this teacher things it's still really cute so let me show you guys what i'm gonna put inside the bags okay so the little vibe i was going for it was kind of like bring the teacher's lunch type of vibe so i'm gonna show you what i got i went to daiso and um emart it's like a korean grocery store i don't know if you can no i didn't go to emart i went to Inmart. so yeah it's like a korean grocery store but anyway so i got them each a pack of cookies um i've never tried any of this stuff before this one looks like it's a hazelnut type of cookie this one is chocolate and then this one is white hazelnut so they're each gonna get a box of cookies um at daiso i got them each their own little cutlery it's like wooden they each have their own spoon and chopsticks you're gonna see why in a second why they each got their own but this is like really good quality it was only 1001 so this is probably like 80 cents for the set so cute then I got them each a ramen. I just picked out, no wait, these are the same. So I got two of the same ones, ramen. And then I just randomly picked up this one. So they're each gonna get their own bowl of ramen. And then I got them each their own little, um, I use these little drink packs. Actually, I don't drink the juice ones. I've had one, it was like a blue raspberry, but it was like way too sweet, so I never had it again. But um, these are really popular here, the little drink pouches. So I got one of them, a blueberry one. This one is like, I guess like a peach tea maybe, or is it just a juice? I'm not really sure. And then this one is green apple age. So they're each gonna get their own little drink pack. And then with those, they're each gonna get um, a cup. These are normally like when you go to the convenience stores, they have like the ice cups ready. Like they're just these cups with ice in it. And then you just pour your drink. I get the coffee ones all the time. I, like I said, I don't really drink the um the juice ones i just felt like it was too sweet the last one i had so i don't really get those but yeah it's gonna be like their own little you know what i forgot straws dang i might have to go back to the store and get some straws but anyways they're gonna get a cup and a juice pouch and then i got them each their own little pack of napkins it's a three pack in there i guess these are napkins are these tissues no it looks like they're napkins so they each can get their own little pack of napkins and then last but not least, I got this pack, the six pack of um, coffee. This is a really popular brand here. This one is just, um, what, just a latte, just a regular latte. So I feel like they just couldn't go wrong with just a regular latte. Hopefully they drink coffee. I don't know. But if they don't, they can obviously give it to somebody else. But yeah, I just thought that was really cute. Just like a bring the teacher's lunch to work vibe that's the vibe i was going for i just thought it was really cute i was gonna do like some self-care items for the teachers but like uh, i don't know how i feel about that just because like teachers are different like some of them might not like a lot of like scents and they might be allergic to different things like that well same with food so i guess if they don't 
they can't eat any of this then they could just give it away i guess but i don't know i just thought it was something cute and different like i just think it's so cute so i'm gonna pack these up later on with the kids they're gonna have um they're gonna make like a card or something for the teachers or if they don't want to make one i'll probably have to go buy some cards but anyways yeah it is 11 44 now i think i want to go ahead and make lunch right now because i haven't had breakfast yet so i'm actually pretty hungry so last night we did um make your own pizzas with the kids we did the nine instead of you know like those um, pre-made pizza crusts that come the circle ones i don't like those those are kind of nasty to me but with nine oh my god it was so good like it was so so good so i'm gonna have that again for lunch today i'm gonna make that right now and i'll show you what it looks like when it's done okay so this is the pizza plated up i already cut it into four slices but are you kidding me does that look like restaurant quality or not so let me tell you what it is so basically it's a non pizza i put a little bit of olive oil on it and some italian seasoning and then i put it in the oven to toast it up for a minute took it out spread some ricotta cheese on it um mozzarella cheese i put sprinkled that on it this is italian sausage that i cooked up Put that on the pizza mushrooms if you don't like mushrooms grow up they're so good <laughs> and then i put some spinach on it some more italian seasoning baked in the oven for like maybe 10 minutes and then i have a side salad i purposely did not eat breakfast so i could have this for lunch today so and then i also <laughs> have it with my water so right now we're making fruit pizza and i'm gonna let the kids help me okay so I need y'all to spread this out. This is nothing but cream cheese. Um, wait, cream cheese, vanilla extract, and one third cup of sugar, and you just mix it. It looks like a little bit, but it's plenty for the cookie dough. So y'all can go ahead. Oops, sorry. Y'all can go ahead and spread it out. How? Oh, this? No, this. How do I put? How do I do it? Yep. And you just spread it out. You can take turns what you want. Make sure you gotta get the edges. Mom, you're taking edges. such a little bit, girl. No, my turn. More? Oh. Yeah, like take a while. I'm trying to use all of it. Okay. I'm gonna use all of it. I'm gonna get it in Okay. I want you. Eli, okay. Here. I'm sure I can set this up somewhere. chose but you know it's fine. my guy let the kids have fun <laughs> let the kids i tried but you told me not to boss around eli well i don't that's what i'm saying like i'm glad you guys got to do it it's cute i don't know why the kiwi was so light when i peeled it open i thought it was something else but it's actually kiwi it's just very light and it tastes like it's like sweeter than kiwi no i feel like it's sweeter than actual it kiwi. is it does kiwi. taste like kiwi it does taste sweeter though so this is so cute. So now it has to go in the refrigerator for about an hour to sit. I've made this before, but we used blueberries and um, mandarin oranges, but I didn't have any of that. So we just used what we had. And hopefully it's good. So it's another day because I didn't finish the vlog the other day. So this might just turn into like a weekly vlog. But, um, my poor baby. You okay, Tito? Okay. Anyways, yeah, Eli got called home from school because he had a fever. Madeline was sick last week. She had a fever and she had like, they were pretty much like cold symptoms, but with a fever. Like, she didn't really have any like chills or anything like that. But Eli, you said you feel a little bit of chills, right? Do you feel like kind of cold? Yeah, he's feeling, I think what he's experiencing is like some chills. So he had to be picked up early today. And of course, he can't go back to school tomorrow because they have to be um, fever free for 24 hours. So anyways, he's home chilling on the couch. I just got a package from Amazon. I really don't know what this is. I love getting packages because like, I feel like I order so much that I never remember what I ordered. So it's always like a present every time I check my packages. So I already cut it open. You like, you turn it down just a little bit. Um, 
I got a three pack of my favorite coffee ever. This is the community coffee. This is pecan praline. It's so, so good. It's so good. It's giving me like fall vibes and I haven't had it in a while. So I ordered it on Amazon because the commissary never has it. I don't even think they sell this brand here at the commissary. I don't know, but I ordered it on Amazon and it's a three pack for like $18, I think. So this should last me. Why does this one feel different? This one feels like it's like vacuum sealed and then these don't feel like that. I wonder what that means. Anyways, so I got those. And then the next thing that I got today that I already washed out and I already started using it because I'm obsessed. Yes, I jumped on the, you know, the Stanley bandwagon um, of tumblers, well, cups, tumblers, whatever you want to call them. And I love them. I'm obsessed. So I got this one in the mail today. It's like this pretty, like, burnt orange color. It's so pretty. And I have some Coke in there because I have a little bit of a headache and I've been, like, giving up coffee. And I feel like that's why I'm getting like kind of frequent headaches because I'm kind of like chilling out on caffeine a little bit. So I'm just sipping on some Coke and then I have my water in this one. Look how pretty, look at this blue, it's so pretty. My friend, she got me the first Stanley cup I've ever had. It's like a tan color, it's so pretty, I love it. So now I have two more in my collection. And I'm, I think I'm waiting on like one more that's coming in the mail, so that should be here soon. But yeah, so for the rest of the day, Madeline gets home from school in probably like 20 minutes. Then I have to go pick up Junior from school. We're supposed to go on a trip this weekend. I'm so sad. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to go because Eli is sick. Maybe he'll be better by then because I feel like Eli gets over his sicknesses pretty quick. Like he's never sick for like more than 48 hours for some reason, which I'm not complaining about. So hopefully we can still go on our trip on Saturday. I don't know if that'll be a part of this vlog. It might be if this is like a weekly vlog, so... We'll see. Well, it's another day. It is, what's today? Friday. Um, we haven't done much this week at all because I have a sick one at home. Eli, he's sick. He has had a fever for, what, this is third day having a fever. So he's been home for the past three days. Um, we actually had a plit, plit, what? <laughs> we had a trip planned tomorrow. But since he's sick, um, I went ahead and canceled it. So unfortunately we won't be going. I was gonna go and just like take Madeline and have the boys stay home. But when I kind of said that, he got really mad. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna go if he actually wants to go. And that's just kind of mean that he has to stay home and be sick. So that trip is canceled. But next week we have a trip coming up. Well, not we, I have a trip coming up with my friend. Another update, I have started working super part-time. It's like very part-time. Um, I was able to get those dates off and go on the trip, which I'm very excited about. But anyway, so like I said, today's Friday. I did a lot of talking. Um, we just got back from the mall. I was literally in and out super quick because like I said, Eli's sick and I was just trying to be out quick. So I went to H&M and I went to a shoe store here in Korea called JD. I don't know. I guess it's kind of like their version of Foot Locker or something. I don't know. But they have like all the brands of shoes and stuff. So first I'm going to show you what I got from H&M. Do a little haul really quick. So I got some sunglasses. And you're wondering like, girl, like I wear glasses. But when I go out, I'll put contacts in. But 95% of the time I'm wearing glasses because it's just easy. It takes me forever to put on contacts. So I, I it's very rare that I wear them. Only like if I'm going somewhere special. But this trip, I plan on wearing contacts maybe one or two days out of the trip. So I got some cute sunglasses. It's spring here, obviously, and I looked at the weather. It's going to be super sunny, so I got some cute. This is the first pair of sunglasses I've ever bought in my life. Fun fact, I've never bought sunglasses ever in my life. This is my first pair of sunglasses because, like I said, I wear glasses all the time. I just thought about that. That's crazy. I'm 32 years old. This is my first pair of sunglasses. That's crazy. But I just thought these were so cute. I didn't even try these on. I mean, you just can't go wrong with like black sunglasses. So hopefully those are cute. Those were 15,001. The next thing I got, y'all don't drag me for these shoes. I think they're cute. That's all that matters. The more I look at them, it's kind of giving grandma, but like they're cute to me. And I feel like they're going to be really comfortable for all the walking so these are the shoes that i got they're like these little sandals and it has like this little woven material i think they're cute and it has like a little gold buckle detail i think they're cute it is what it is you can think they're ugly i understand but with the outfit i picked out i think it's gonna be really cute with it 
yeah they're definitely giving grandma but so what like they're cute to me so i got those those were how much these were thirty nine thousand one, and then i grabbed me a pair of just regular cotton shorts gray nothing special i feel like these are just easy to throw on for the spring and summer <clears throat> i also got the same exact pair black so cute i'm like very basic when it comes to my clothes just like I don't wear like a lot of prints, I guess you can say. I'm just very basic. <clears throat> so I got this cute little pink tank top. I love the style of it, so cute. It's very stretchy. And this was 15,001. So hear me out, okay. Also I got from there, I got a green one and a black one of the same top. So I got this in green, very cute. It's kind of cropped. And I got the same exact one in black. But hear me out, okay. So this top with these black shorts and these shoes. I think it's cute, I think it's gonna be a vibe. The only thing I need is like some earrings now. I didn't really see any cute earrings at H&M today, which I always find cute earrings there, but I didn't see any really there today. So I guess I'll go to the PX to try and find some earrings. But I just think this is gonna be a cute outfit. I love the green, the pop of color. Y'all know black. Well, I don't know if you know, but black is like my favorite color. I wear black all the time. And I just feel like this pop of green is just so cute. Yeah, it's like that Bottega green. It's so pretty. So that's all I got from H&M. I think my total is only like 125,000 won, which is like, I don't know, maybe a hundred dollars, US dollar. I don't know. Something like that. And then the next thing I got from the shoe store was, clearly you can see what kind of shoes they are. I got a pair of Converse. And these are the Converse that I got. They're so cute. It's like the platform style. So cute. I love platform. Since being in Korea, they've turned me on to like the platform style shoes. At first I was like, I don't really know if I like that, but like, I like it. The only thing I don't really like in platforms is like the Crocs. I don't like the platform Crocs. I can't get with those, but the Converse and like other sneakers, so cute. So that's all I got. Um, it is Mother's Day weekend, so I felt like it was okay to treat myself to some clothes for my trip coming up. And then, like I said, tomorrow, I don't think we're doing anything because I just want to get Eli feeling better. Hopefully, I do not catch what he has. Oh, my God. I'm so nervous. Like, I'm so nervous to catch what he has. I hope I don't get sick for this trip because if I get sick, I'm just not going to go. Like, I cannot bring myself to go on a trip and I feel sick and I feel miserable because I'm a baby when I'm sick. So, yeah. If I get sick, I'm not going to go. Um, I think Sunday, my husband gave me a little itinerary for mother's day um he booked me a massage and facial which i'm so excited about so we'll do that i think i'm gonna vlog all that so i think i'm gonna let this vlog run till sunday and then i'll end it there <laughs> so good because i really needed a massage like not just for like the you know just the niceness of it i actually really needed a massage she told me that i had a lot of like tension in my neck and i could literally feel her like kneading out the knots in my back and my neck and i know i had a lot of tension in my neck because i get headaches but they kind of like radiate down to my neck a little bit so i know for sure i had tension in my neck but anyways, um, yeah, after that, came home, got dressed to go to not so much brunch because it was like after two, but I want to call it lunch. I went to lunch with my friend. Um, we had mimosas. We had, I had 
it's like a, in, not Indian, it's like an African restaurant, Caribbean slash African. She does like brunch and stuff like that. If you're in Korea, I'll link her Instagram down below. Her food is so good, like so, so good, really good. Um, we've been to her before and it was a really good time. Good vibes, listen to music and stuff. And that was it. And so now it's what, past eight o'clock now, the kids are in bed. Well, Madeline and Eli, they're in bed. Getting ready to start our new week of school, work, that type of stuff. Um, as you know, Eli, I think I've mentioned it before. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. Eli is getting over some type of virus he had. He had a fever for like four days. And finally today, his fever has like broken. He's been like 98 point whatever all day. So I'm so happy he's fever free. And I could tell it was something, some type of like, I don't, want, I don't know if it was a flu or what, but he was definitely congested a little bit. He's still a little congested, slight cough, and then he had a fever. So that was like all his symptoms. Plus he felt like he was feeling like kind of sleepy, but thankfully he's finally better. Um, we were supposed to go on a trip on Saturday, but that didn't happen because he was sick. So we had to cancel. Um, so now I'm going to be going on my trip soon. So I'm taking some, I was about to say emergency. I'm taking some airborne um, to try and like boost my immune system. This is vitamin C, has a lot of vitamins and minerals. This is the very berry flavor. I had it yesterday and it's kind of kind of nasty to be honest but you know it's not bad if you're just trying to not get sick so I'm gonna sip on this and let it dissolve it takes a few minutes for it to completely dissolve so I'm gonna sip on that and excuse me but look can you get into these cups that I got from Daiso the other day like these were like I don't have the tap on them anymore they're like 3001 I want to say for these nice glasses like these are like thick nice glasses and they're like gold rim they're so pretty i love these glasses so much i only grabbed i think five of them but i'm gonna go get some more because i love these glasses they're so cute so yeah i'm not getting sick no i'm not claiming that nope i'm not getting sick nope i'm not it's not happening mm -mm. so yeah i'm gonna sip on this watch i started watching power again even though i've watched it the complete like series maybe twice now but i'm watching it again because I ran out of things to watch. And yeah, I'm just been watching like a lot of old, I've been binging a lot of like old shows that I liked before. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start, well not start, I'm almost done watching Power. And then people on Facebook have been talking about a show <clears throat> called Queen Charlotte on Netflix. It's like a spinoff from um, Bridgerton. And I really wanna watch that. So everybody said it's so good. They were crying, all this type of stuff. And I'm like, We'll see. I'll be the real judge of that. But yeah, I'm going to watch that probably maybe this weekend. I don't think I'm going to start it during the week because I like to binge shows. I don't want to start and then have to like wait for the next episode. So I think I'm just going to like binge it next weekend. But yeah, so I'm going to sip on this and I'm going to end the vlog here. I just want to say I hope you all had a great all the mommies out there. You had a great Mother's Day, whether you're, you know, regular mom, or you're an adoptive mom foster mom um stepmom all the moms out there happy mother's day i hope you made this day about you you did whatever you wanted to do whether that be relax spend the time with family spend the time by yourself i hope you all had a great mother's day and i know i did so ready to start this week off i'm actually like going into this week on a positive note i feel like when i have a really good sunday i have like a positive mindset going into the next week so yeah i will see you all in my next vlog